What's up guys, Mizzo Frizzo from Pitchfork Academy here, and in this Unreal Engine 5 tutorial, I'm going to show you how to switch cameras to show something like a door opening somewhere else on the level when you hit a switch. So as you can see here, I've got this door over on the right and a switch over on the left here. And if I go and hit this switch, we're going to swap to a different camera that shows the door open, and then it's gonna come back to my character who I can then take control of again. But just before we get started, guys, if you like what we do here at Pitchfork Academy, the number one way to support our channel is by picking up our new game, Skyblocker, which we've just released on Steam. It's a fun little 3D arcade puzzle game where you stack blocks as high as you can while battling the elements and gravity to try and earn your place on the global online leaderboards. It's just 10 bucks and we think it's a great little game. But without further ado, let me show you how to do this. Alrighty guys, so I'm here in my project and as you can see, I've got this door and this switch, which I've downloaded off of Fab. I simply went to Fab and searched for door and sorted by price. And as you can see this one right here, the simple basic interactions by Hi Ogre. Uh, this is free and it has some good stuff in it. It has some really complex interaction and inventory stuff in it. I'm not going to be going too deep into interaction here. I've got another tutorial on an interaction system. So how to interact with a door, for example. Uh, so I've got this switch and basically if I browse to this switch and open it up, I've added this interact blueprint interface in here so that I can press the switch and uh, open the door with this event dispatcher. So like I said, I'm not going too into detail with the interact system. I have my other video on that, which I'll link in the description and with a card up the top right. But basically we're just going to uh, run our logic off of here that we switch to our camera when we open this door so we can see where in the level this door has been opened. So what I'm actually going to do here is add the camera to the button blueprint itself. Uh, you don't have to do it this way, but I found this to be the most simplistic way since that is the blueprint that we're interacting with anyway. So I'm gonna head into this blueprint here, the button blueprint, and the first thing I'm going to do is add a camera to this blueprint. So I'm gonna select the scene route and add and search for camera, add a camera. And then what I want to do is add the ability to change the location and rotation of this camera uh, on different instances of this button. So basically you wanna be able to set where the camera is. And if you have multiple instances of the button for different doors, you'll be able to put the camera wherever you like for each one. So I'm gonna to head to the construction script here I'm going to grab the camera and I'm going to set the relative transform of the camera and the new transform I will promote to a variable. I'll call it camera transform and I want to make this variable instance editable so that we can change this for different instances of uh, this blueprint. So if I head back out to my level now and I select the button, You'll see uh, it has a camera, so we're viewing it here. And the default uh, section in the details panel here has that uh, transform variable that we created, the instance editable one. So basically we can change this uh, variable right here and move this camera around our level. So I'm gonna move it over to where the door is and this might take a moment because this can be a little bit fiddly sometimes. Bear with me. I'll rotate this around so it's facing the door and I might just move it up a little bit and I'll angle it down by about 20 degrees and move it just a little bit closer and not so high just a nice little angle on the door like so and so now this button has this camera inside of the blueprint so we will be able to essentially possess it with our player controller um, and to show you what i mean about the different instances of the button if i grab this button and i put the same button somewhere else uh, it will have the camera 
in that blueprint and I'd be able to, you know, move this camera to somewhere else, such as uh, right here. That's a good spot. And so as you can see here, these two different buttons have their own camera, each pointing at something different. Nice. I'll just delete that one now and we'll head into this button blueprint because uh, right here where we do our interact uh, blueprint interface, we open the, uh, open the door basically and then I'm going to run my logic right here. So the first thing I'm going to grab is a do once because I only want to sort of be shown where the door is once. You could reset this, uh, you know, after a certain number of uses or something. Uh, so just in case the player missed it, they could come back and try again. Uh, or, or you don't need to use this if you want to be able to view the door as many times as you like. Uh, but that would be a little bit odd and maybe a bit annoying. So the next thing I'll do is get the player controller. And like I said, we're basically going to be possessing the camera of this button blueprint with this player controller. And the node that we can use to do that is called set view target with blend. Plug this in. And the new target here is basically any actor that has a camera in it. And because we are actually in the actor here that has the camera, we can just get a reference to self. I'll make the blend time something like 1.5 seconds and I'll make the blend cubic to smooth it out a little bit. I'll also check this lock outgoing. You can see if true, lock outgoing view target to last frames camera position for the remainder of the blend. Um, that's a little bit convoluted, but uh, you do probably want to have this checked most of the time. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is disable the input uh, of my player. So I'll duplicate this get player controller and I'll also get player character and I will disable input uh, just because we don't want to be able to run you know run off and do whatever while we're viewing the door opening uh, it's it's pretty standard to just disable the input while you're viewing the door opening and then I'm going to delay by the amount of time that I want to basically be looking at the door obviously minus this blend time. So it's going to take 1.5 seconds to go over to the new camera and then 2.5 seconds after this. So it'll stay there for basically one second. Uh, we want to basically come back again. So we will get the player controller again. Actually, what I'll do is I'll just duplicate this node and this get player controller right here. So we'll set view target with blend again. And this time the new view target will be our character. So we'll be coming back to our character once more. So I'll duplicate this get player character and plug this in here. And I'll also want to re-enable the input, but I don't want the input to be enabled until the camera is basically all the way back to our character. So our character will be where we left it when the camera comes back and then we can control it again. So I'm going to delay this by 1.3 seconds, just a little bit shorter than this blend time, 1.3 seconds. And then uh, the character here, I will enable input and I'll get the player controller as well and plug that in and make sure I plug in the execution pin. And that is literally it. That is all of the code that you need to do this. If I hit compile and save now and press play, I'll run over to this switch and interact with it. We'll go over, see the door, and then it will come back. And once the camera comes back, I am then able to control my character again. And that's it, guys. If this tutorial has been of any use or value to you whatsoever, please hit like and subscribe, and I will see you on the next one.